Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up the Davis AirLink Air Quality Sensor and give a quick overview of the WeatherLink Live app and webpage. Along with the AirLink, to set up you will need a phone with Bluetooth enabled, a 2.5GHz Wi-Fi connection and the included power adapter. To start, download the WeatherLink app. Links to this app can be found in the video description. Log in using your username and password. Otherwise, if you do not have an account yet, press sign up and follow the prompts to create one. To get started, press the account icon on the top right corner. Under devices, click add. Select AirLink. Choose between installing on an existing device or select set up as a standalone monitor. For this example, we'll set up the AirLink as a standalone sensor. Plug the AirLink in using the included power cable. The blue LED on the sensor will illuminate. Press next. The next step is to connect to Bluetooth. Confirm your phone has Bluetooth enabled, then press connect. Choose your planned setup environment between inside and outside, then press next. Enter a name for your AirLink, then press next. Select a location. You can select by moving around on the map or just enter your address. Click next, read and accept the terms and conditions, then wait as the unit configures. The next step is Wi-Fi connection. Select use Wi-Fi, then select next. The available Wi-Fi networks will appear on the screen. Select your Wi-Fi network, then enter your password. Press next. At this stage, you can choose to upgrade to WeatherLink Pro, otherwise click Use Basic to continue. The AirLink is installed. From here, you can select Add More to set up additional sensors or Complete. It might take some time for your information to first load into WeatherLink. We left our unit for about 10-15 minutes. After 10-15 minutes have elapsed, you can see our device and air quality data on the screen. This includes the device name, device location, the Nowcast AQI, Current information including the 1 hour AQI, PM10 levels, sunrise time, sunset time, temperature, PM1 level, PM2.5 level and humidity percentage ratings. Below this is the forecast. You can select to view either a 7 day or hourly forecast. Further down is our air quality information. This is provided as an air quality index. You can select between a list of global indices so ensure you choose the best for you. Ours is currently set to the United States, so we'll change it to Australia. To do this, press the settings icon and then select the index which best represents your location. We will select Australia NEPM. This instantly updates. Now we can see our relevant AQI colour code, status and again the index used and what PM size it is based on. Clicking on learn more about air quality here brings up helpful definitions about air quality, particulate matter and more. Information about the location's hourly average AQI will appear here. Further down there's information on temperature, humidity and feels like temperature. And lastly at the bottom there's records. This is where you will find your air quality and environmental information records. Select a day, year and month and the required data will appear. Last of all on the app to change the display units, simply go to the account icon on the top right hand side, press units and adjust units as required. The WeatherLink website navigation is similar. Simply navigate to weatherlink.com, enter your user details and click login. You are greeted with an easy to navigate and completely customizable dashboard full of your collected environmental and air quality information. And that's how to set up the Davis AirLink air quality sensor. For more information on this sensor, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email us at customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.